So I'm known for uh, quite a few different vids like World of Tanks experiments and showdowns and historical recreations and whatever. I had a subscriber request and I had done Monsters vs. Nation and now we're going to do some Nation vs. Nation. So the first one up is Russia vs. China tanks and to try and make it as fair as possible we swapped out players for each game, made sure everyone had a turn. Um, we get a lot of people in the training rooms. If you guys wanna help, I love having my subscribers help. Join my Discord, make sure you get the role called Movie Crew, and you'll get the notifications on when I do these videos. I love having my subscribers help. So, we swapped out some different tanks for each side, swapped out different players, just to kind of mix it up and just see what the outcome would be if you took the Chinese tanks, tiers four through 10, against the Russian tanks, tiers four through 10 as well. One of each, and they could really kind of choose what they wanted. And of course, on the Russian side, you could expect tanks like the KV-2, the SU-152. So, um, honestly, quite interesting. I decided to be the lowest tier just because I know it's not a lot of fun <laughs> for my subscribers helping to be the lowest tier. So trying to do what I can. Um, China clearly got whooped during this first round, which was actually quite crazy, it fell apart quite fast. We're gonna do best out of four rounds and just see what the outcome is. So Russian bias clearly takes so far from what we can see this first round. So I was the tier four and really not being able to do a whole lot, I tried being a spotter, tried looking for opportunities to flank. I had completely loaded up on APCR because that was really the only way that I would even have a chance of penetrating um, even some of the higher tier tanks. And I decided to do one of each for one of each tier on each side just because everyone wants to see at least one of those tanks from one of those tiers and I wanted to make sure it was even. I mean, even a battle like this, people definitely wanted to see the KV-2 in action or the SU-152, you know, even the tier 10. So I wanted to swap it out, make sure that there was the tiers 10 through four, which really are the range of most interest, even though <laughs> the player, the other player playing tier four along with me, um, and I honestly was a quite a challenging experience because you are very, very underpowered compared to the rest of the players. So even in my tier four, having to be quite sneaky, I unfortunately had a really <laughs> just shot of bad luck. He actually, the SU wasn't even aiming for me. He was aiming for my friend and I had pulled out, just got shot, trying to see if I could get to the sides of those SUs. I should have used my third person view to look around the corner, but you know, oh well. Now we can go ahead and see the views from the other players. And I think people had quite a bit of fun. I mean, like I said, people were able to kind of swap out and some were able to do, you know, some of the higher tiers. But in terms of the Russian tech tree tanks and the Chinese tech tree tanks, they do have their differences. And China got a lot of their tanks from Russia. So there are some similarities like the T-34, uh, the IS-2, and in comparison, if you look at some of these, the Russian tanks do have better stats in terms of, uh, like for example, like the IS, the Russian Tier 7 IS. If you look at the stats of the Russian Tier 7 IS compared to the Chinese IS-2, I would say the Russian IS is almost better in every single way. Now, 
That's not the case with a lot of tanks. There are some really good Chinese tanks and like the WZ tier 10 heavy has an excellent DPM. So there are some pros and cons. Now, the other thing that's kind of funny when looking at, I did a video ranking the best and worst performing um, of all the tier 10 tanks. I mean, it was just based on win rate, kind of more for fun, but the Chinese tier 10 WZ Destroyer actually ranked as the worst performing win rate tank in the whole game. Now, there's a lot of different stats you can go off of for that. Um, we all have, you know, bad teams and, and whatnot. So, okay, the Russians won the second round. That was a pretty good game. Got fairly close. It looks like the Chinese were going to be able to pull through with maybe getting some revenge, but wasn't the case. And so, once again, trying to put myself in a position to spot because <laughs> that's about probably as effective as I'm going to get being a Tier 4. Was able to get this ST1, which was quite nice. And the powerful thing about spotting is, you know, when doing it correctly, doing it right, getting yourself to that effective position right off the bat helps give your team eyes on where they are and it helps better position them or know where they can go. So getting eyes on the enemy or just being a spotter can be quite effective. So here in this position, I'm kind of looking around. I don't want to get myself too much on a frontline position. I see this KV-2. I'm waiting for him to pop up. <laughs> he annihilated me in like one round. So I'm, this is kind of some sweet revenge I'm trying to get right here. Got to be careful just from that sniping zone just back there. And able to get some shots in once again using that APCR I have. And fortunately got a miss, but able to take out the KV-2. And unfortunately that object 252U is way too far back. If you guys are looking for tips and tricks on tanks, I do have a tips and tricks playlist on quite a bit of different tanks. Um, so go check that out if you're looking to improve or maybe get some guidance on some tanks that hopefully I can help. That 252U was very strongly underutilizing um, its strengths. And it's something very commonly seen. I'm not trying to target the 252U player in this. Honestly, love all my subscribers. The game, I just play for fun. But the 252U in its strengths has an excellent armor profile. You can really be up on the front lines. It doesn't have great accuracy. So shooting from that far distance is going to get you in a bit of trouble. And you can miss quite a bit. So with that, that Russian accuracy, so to say, you want to be more in close quarters. So where its strengths are, it needs to be much, much more on the front lines. But trying to get this SU, honestly, quite proud of myself here for being able to pull through over 460 damage in a tier four. Um, and it looks like the Chinese tanks aren't quite able to pull through. Now it's not over yet, but things are not looking too good. And if they could take out that T-62A, that may give him a good chance, but that T-62A has got himself in a pretty good position because he can really, with his accuracy, just nail those top weak points on his turret, putting him in a pretty bad spot. So Russia takes the third round. We're gonna do one last one. Um, swapping out some other players, can the Chinese line do this? So this might be a complete annihilation if 
the Chinese line um, isn't able to win one. Now I already know which one wins, but just for the heck and sake of it, it's just kind of fun just uh, while you guys are watching this to, to talk about it. So trying to get myself in a position here to spot again, and I make a pretty bad mistake that I really should have just kept zooming forward because I get it about wasted here. I'm trying to get some side shots. That's where I pulled for it. I should have just kept driving. Instead, I back up, which was much slower, not to mention I've got some good cover from my friends down in the valley and over on this right side. So definitely <clears throat> a lack of judgment there in the heat of the moment. So honestly, both teams, this side of the map, being pretty good, hilly. I'm trying to get in some advantageous position here on the side. See if I can just hide behind this, get some snapshots on some of these Russian tanks just popping up over on the side and get a very unfortunate bounce. Great move to move back right as I had shot that. And now I see him coming right at me and I'm like, I've got to get out of here. I'm a one shot, I can't afford it. I honestly, I totally thought I was dead here. He misses and my <laughs> friend completely is able to save me just in the nick of time. That was super close. I thought I was toast right there. So, was able to save the worthless tier four that I am. <laughs> and I'm trying to get over to flank this destroyer and that 252U was able to get right up behind me and get that good shot. So the Chinese tanks, they're ahead, but they are a bit weaker on hit points. That ST1 or STI is has full hit points. We're getting ourselves in a brawl here. And the 252U has a great, once again, good armor profile. I was able to bounce some. Not quite able to pull it through. The Chinese are ahead, but their hit points aren't looking too good. This WZ, uh, just in a rough position there. And the Russian side wins. A complete annihilation. Russian bias was able to pull through. So anyway, hope you enjoyed Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.